It's your girl Valerie Ortiz here and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating American Latino pride. And the stories we feature today are examples of what you can do with your talent if you take the first step and then just don't quit. And up next is a story that makes us want to unite around a touching story about someone who does not quit no matter what life has thrown his way. Jason is a blind marathon runner. In middle school, he was diagnosed with a degenerative retinal disease. The condition is characterized by night blindness and a loss of peripheral vision. But despite the diagnosis, the relentless Romero is currently running from coast to coast for Vision Run USA, as well as Red Bull sponsored races, all in the name of creating awareness for the blind. Get your running shoes on and check this out. It's a story you're only gonna catch right here on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. My name is Jason Romero. I'm from Denver, Colorado, and I'm here in sunny Santa Monica, California, and I'm getting ready to run across America. I have retinitis pigmentosa, and I'm actually legally blind. What it is, is it's a degenerative eye condition of your retina, and what happens is your rods and your cones the light perception pieces in your retina basically slowly die over time. And what that means is that you lose your eyesight over time. And what happens is you slowly lose your peripheral vision and then it ends up like this and then you go into straws and pinholes and then presumably later on it's lights out. Before I was diagnosed, I didn't understand why at nighttime other people could do some things like sports and I was having a difficult time like catching the football or playing catch or something like that and then it made sense because I was different. Um, there were a lot of difficult times when I was younger and really it was kind of like about being socially awkward, uh, wanting to fit in as a youngster but really not physically fitting in. My family is everything. I was raised by my mother who's a single mother since the age of two and she raised me and my brother. Um, and it would be nothing without my, without my family. I got two boys, I support whatever they do. That's whoever, I've told them, you know, whatever you want to do, if it's crazy, if it's in their heart, I think they got to do what they want to do. I think we all have to do what we need to do. Just about went off the trail there. Okay. <laughs> Vision Run USA is gonna be a 3,283 mile run from Los Angeles to Boston. Uh, I'm doing it to benefit the US Association of Blind Athletes, which is a 501c3 and part of the US Olympic Committee. Uh, they help blind people and visually impaired people. And the second mission that USABA has is something that is also very near and dear to my heart, which is they're combating any negative stereotyping that there is for, frankly, what blind and visually impaired people are capable of or incapable of, and frankly, we're capable of anything. Yeah, we're going. Are you ready? <laughs> we're going over there. Woo! Let's do this. The reason why I do is because you have a chance to find out about yourself. And when I first did my first 100 miler, my, one of my mentors, my running mentor, Scott Gordon, had told me, Jason, if you run 100 miles, you'll be a better person. And I didn't understand what he meant at that point in time but I do now. And what he means at that time is when you do ultras or anything long that really taxes you and that's very difficult, you end up going through periods where you have tremendous highs and you have tremendous lows. And if you keep pushing through those lows and through that pain, it will subside and it will go away. And you'll get back to a really good place. And then it will get bad again, in a good place and a bad place. And what happens, what you realize is if you don't quit, it will get better, and that's the ultimate metaphor for life. And that's the wonderful thing about these races, you know, I mean, you do all this crazy stuff that people are like, there's no way you can do it, there's no way a human body can do it. I don't believe that a human body can do half this stuff, but I've experienced that it can. And that's the thing, and the, hopefully the, the lesson that I've been able to teach my kids, that frankly, if you put your mind to anything, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. 